guys, what's up? This is Parker from the RC Network, and today this is just going to be a update for my RCs. So, um, for the body, there's getting a lot of holes in it. I do love this body. In my opinion, it's the best color for the 4x4 slash. So I hope to get a Proline Ford Raptor body. And yeah, so... If you're wondering why my wheel's off, when I was uh, bashing the truck a couple days ago, I actually stripped the inside of the wheel. These are the Proline Renegade Proline Renegade wheels. So, I mean, they were supposed to be pretty tough, but I don't know. And when I did that, it was because my hex got stripped, and now my hex is circular, and my tire is circular. I think it's because my blue aluminum um, tire nuts were not um, flanged, which means they didn't have any like um, things to hold them on, so that a lot of times they got really loose and just kind of made the wheel wobble, so I think that's why they got stripped out. But um, I'm ordering uh, another set of Proline trenchers and a replacement hex for them. And, and uh, get the J Concepts um, 4 millimeter lock nuts because they will actually hold. So, yeah, that's uh, I think that's it for the slash. Upgrades um, I'm, I might get the big bore shocks and get RPM shock towers, but that's about it. I'm more focused on upgrades right now for the e Revo. So, just as a little side note, my birthday's coming up. And because both my antennas on my TQ remotes are broken, so I hope to get a Spectrum DX2S or 3S. Not sure. But on to my Erevo. Uh, it's been pretty good. If you watched, uh, I have three upgrade, level upgrade videos right now of my Erevo, both aluminum push rods and the RPM front bumper. I hope to get the um, rear true track conversion from RPM, which includes both axle carriers and full A-arms for the rear, and I, and I hope to get full RPM A-arms for the front and get the aluminum term steering turnbuckle, and, oh, and then Proline Badland tires for this, and hopefully a new body. But, a um, couple of you guys were wondering for my GoPro vid, did I, where did I mount the GoPro? Um, my dad got the outdoor package. He wanted to use it for filming on the boat. But I got the adhesive mount and put it on the top of the body. And it seems to be working great. And as you saw, my E-Revo hauls butt. So some of you guys were like questioning that I clocked it at 35 or 37 or something, and yes, it's true. So, that's my update. Um, I hope to make many more upgrade videos for this, and hopefully get the Spectrum remote, and I'll do an unboxing bit of that. And, um, I'm starting to build an outdoor track in my backyard to race my Slash, so videos will be coming up soon for that. But that's all for today, guys. This is the RC Network, signing out. Peace!